Hello students, welcome to the last episode of Biomolecules chapter. In the previous classes, we discussed carbohydrate, proteins, vitamins and nucleic acid. Today, we'll have the study of one more important class of biomolecules that is hormones. So as far as your board examinations are concerned, you may get one mark question from this hormone biomolecules. That too, mainly the questions may arise from functions of hormones. Clear? So, we'll see a study of some hormones that are included in your syllabus. First of all, what are hormones? Hormones are a group of biomolecules these hormones are produced in the ductless glands. Hormones are, after producing in a ductless glands, they are carried to different parts of the body by the bloodstream. That means whenever they are secreted from the ductless glands, they mix with the blood and carried to different parts of the body. Where these hormones control various metabolic processes or even they show physiological activity in our body. That physiological activity may be inhibitory that means reducing nature or stimulatory or that means even they increase the physiological activity. And these hormones are required only in a very very smaller amounts and even they do not store in the body. Whenever they are secreted in the glands, they mix with the blood, moves to the every part of the body. They do their function and they are excreted. They are not stored in the body. These uh, group of biomolecules are called hormones. Okay. So, when they sentence the Herodadre, hormones are a group of biomolecules produced in the ductless glands and they are carried to different parts of the body by the bloodstream where they control various metabolical processes or even they show physiological activity that may be inhibitory or stimulatory and they are not they are required only in a very very smaller amounts and they are not stored in the body that group of biomolecules are called hormones clear well We'll see classification. So this classification is mentioned in your syllabus. Okay, I am talking about the prescribed classification that is there in your textbook. Okay, apart from this, many hormones are there. Many hormones are there, but I am not covering all those. So I am uh, restricting myself for this uh, second PUC textbook concept. Okay, so in your textbook, Three types of hormones are mentioned. First one, polypeptide hormones. Examples are insulin as well as a glucagon hormone. Second type is amino acid derivatives hormones. Example, epinephrine or even thyroxine hormone. And the third class is steroidal hormones. Examples are estrogens as well as androgens. Clear? Okay, these are the three classes of hormones that are there in your textbook. Clear? Okay, we'll see each hormone as well as their functions. Well, first hormone is insulin hormone. It is a polypeptide hormone secreted by beta cells of islets of Langerhans present in the pancreas okay pancreas in the insulin hormone secrete after the beta cells of islets of langerhans about these beta cells islets of langerhans uh, i i hope you will study in a biology concept okay biology chapter in note theory so ili uh, secretion the insulin hormone it is secreted by pancreas function in pa insulin hormone though its function is to lower blood glucose level. Okay, so insulin secreted by the pancreas 
decreases reduces lowers blood glucose level how how it lowers by increasing the rate of conversion of a glucose into glycogen okay so in a carbohydrate concept we we know that the uh, excess glucose uh, that means uh, the glucose is uh, used as a uh, what energy it, it produces energy you no know, glucose produces energy oxidation of glucose produces energy excess glucose is stored in our body in the form of a glycogen it's a polysaccharide isn't it so that the conversion of a blood glucose level into a monosaccharide into a polysaccharide glycogen that the conversion is done by insulin hormone it's a responsible for that conversion okay hagadre blood glucose le, blood alli ro glucose level na glycogen agi convert maartade avaga blood glucose level down aitu illo glycogen is stored in the body so the main function of insulin is to convert blood glucose into glycogen by this process it lowers reduces blood glucose level okay so you know the deficiency of uh, insulin in the human beings cause a disease that disease is diabetes mellitus okay so remember for one mark function impa function agadre it lowers reduces blood glucose level clear yes first hormone second hormone is glucagon it also produced it's also a polypeptide hormone produced by pancreas it is function nododadre exactly opposite to insulin insulin en martade blood glucose level la kadime martade whereas glucagon look here glucagon increases blood glucose level okay how again exact opposite insulin by converting glycogen present in the liver stored in the liver into glucose so clear martane first hormone glu insulin en martu glucose iddidna glycogen a convert martu whereas glucagon hormone converts glycogen into glucose okay by uh, and releasing to the blood hence it is called antagonistic what's the meaning of antagonistic agadre opposite to that of what insulin insulin the opposite kelsa glucagon martade hence it is called antagonistic to insulin so these two uh, which one insulin as well as glucagon both together they regulate glucose level in the blood isn't it one increases the blood glucose level glucagon insulin decreases blood glucose level so together insulin and glucagon the these two hormone regulate glucose level in the blood clear one mark ige so yerdu the function eno opposite ida ve insulin matto glucagon yes next uh, hormone is adrenaline it is also called as epinephrine antanu karitare the function of adrenaline adrenaline hormone it releases glucose from glycogen so again it uh, converts glycogen into glucose as well as it releases fatty acids from fats and increases pulse rate in the body it increases blood pressure is a adrenaline hormone function next hormone is thyroxine it is secreted by the thyroid gland in the body and it is uh, uh, called as a uh, iodinated derivatives of amino acid actually this thyroxine is a amino acid derivative in the classification we saw which type of uh, derivative iodinated derivative of amino acid so it is iodinated derivative of amino acid tyrosine the function of thyroxine hormone is that so it is responsible for the growth of the body 
as well as the development of the body for the growth and development of the body thyroxine hormone is required so by because it controls metabolism of carbohydrate proteins as well as lipids in the body hence thyroxine hormone is responsible for growth and development of the body you know there is a disease called as hypothyroidism when the, there is a low level of this thyroxine hormone in the body if the thyroid gland secretes lesser amount of thyroxine hormone that leads to a disease called as a hypothyroidism and because of this there will be enlargement of the thyroid gland clear suppose no okay and this uh, uh, hypothyroidism condition no it's largely being controlled how by adding uh, salt sodium iodide to the commercial table salt that salt is called as ionized salt okay so now manelli no salt sodium chloride use martevala so it will be ionized okay okay uh, very little amount of sodium iodide jothe treat madirtare so iodine is re required in order to um, you know thyroidism hypothyroidism this is barbar dantandre we need to intake iodized salt okay suppose if there is a high content if there is a higher level of thyroxine secretes in the body that is called as what hypothyroidism okay low level secret aitandre sorry sorry low level secret aitandre hypothyroidism high level secret aitandre hyperthyroidism okay so again it's also a disease due to the excess secretion called as hyperthyroidism so this is the thyroxine hormone function as to name pit gold in you exam purpose again growth and development of the body because of its uh, control by of a metabolism of carbohydrate proteins and lipids next hormone are a class of steroids steroids and reno agadre steroids uh, steroidal hormones are made up of a steroidal rings steroidal rings means for so the these are the compounds whose structure contains four ring networks out, out of four three rings are cyclohexane and one ring is cyclopentane so this fusion of a three cyclohexane and one cyclopentane structures are called as what steroids and these hormones contain this type of uh, fusion hence they are called steroidal hormones clear and uh, these uh, in our study two types of hormones are mentioned those hormones are released by gonads and they are responsible for development of a secondary sexual characters they are androgens hormone androgens example is testosterone it's the major sex hormone produced in the testes of males function of this androgen example testosterone nododadre these regulate development of a secondary sexual characters as well as normal functioning of male sex organs they are androgens example testosterone second class is estrogen okay look at the steroidal rings kanasta ide structure dali 1 2 3 3 6 membered rings and there is a fusion of 1 5 membered ring this ring structure is called steroidal ring structure estrogens estrogens are female sex hormones produced in the ovaries these regulate development of secondary sexual characters and normal functioning of female sex organs one example is progesterone which is responsible for preparing the uterus for implantation of fertilized eggs okay so these are the few hormones and their functions that are mentioned in our syllabus clear okay so you may get 
ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಅದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಯೂ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಜುಲೈ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಬಿ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇದನ್ನ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕಿಗೆ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರು ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಂದು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅರೈಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಮಾರ್ಚ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ವಿಚ್ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸುಲಿನು ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಗ್ಲುಕ್ಯಾಗೋನ್ನು ರೆಗ್ಯುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತದೆ ಎರಡರಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಬರೆದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಂಬರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಯುಟರಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಫರ್ಟಿಲೈಸ್ಡ್ ಎಗ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಜೆಸ್ಟೆರಾನ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಇಸಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಓಕೆ this is about today's uh, concept hormone bio molecules so with this we have completed the bio molecules chapter so so quick glance madodadre carbohydrate proteins vitamins nucleic acids matte hormone concept ittu iga bio molecule chapter complete aitu i hope you have uh prepared a uh, notes for this class anyhow so uh, after this video uploading into your google classroom i'll be uploading notes for this already new notes parkondiddiri so adru one pdf formally i'll upload the biomolecules notes along with that i am uploading assignment questions okay so biomolecules chapter do questions paper alli previous year question papers alli yave questions idvalla all those questions i will be uploading so this will be assignment for you you need to write answer for all these questions in a separate notebook or a paper and uh, i will check these assignment when you come back to the college clear thank you very much